Travis. Uh, this is the opening of KFL. We're so excited to be here, man. Listen, it's the Washington Warhawks versus the Norfolk Privateers. This is Travis Belcher. How you doing, man? Uh, not, not, not too bad. Uh, you know, we're here first day of the, of the year for the matchup. But uh... Beautiful lake, dude. Beautiful lake. And uh, we're here at Sandy River Reservoir. And uh, man, what do you think about this format, man? Dude, it's awesome. Uh, I'm, you know, it's just the whole like team, you know, uh, you know, just working together, you know, accomplish something. You know, we would do on. Yeah, we're working on this new uh, iPilot thing. <laughs> it's your guy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your spot lock? Yeah. No, it's uh, iPilot. It follows me. You know, the big drone <laughs> Well, our uh, morning's already started off just right. His kayak goes floating away, and there's the ramp, like way down there, and. Uh, Man, wow, dude. Yeah, dude. it's in the works. It's supposed to be like, shh, but. That is awesome. Invisible iPilot. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, it comes right to you now. Well, good stuff, man. All right, listen, we're going to go catch some fish. More content to come. Let's go. I am here with the one, the only, Mr. Robert Brown, captain of Norfolk Privateers, buddy. KFL's here, preseason game. Talk about it, man. Let's go. Man, we're on, lake, we're on the beautiful Sandy River Reservoir, known for tanks. Bobby might actually catch a fish. <laughs> We're hoping for it. But uh, man, I'm excited, man. Uh, we've already had some fireworks spark off. I think you'll see that uh, with one of my teammates. Hilarious. But um, it's uh, it's probably about, I don't know, about 40 degrees, 45 degrees. Yeah, temp. yep, yep. Hoping the water gets above 50. I think the water gets above 50, we're gonna have a good time. But uh, we're just excited for the KFL to come along, man, and bring you some good content. Hopefully we get some big catches today. Yeah, man, dude, I think today's gonna be amazing. I think, uh, you know, pre-fishing was so-so, uh, but I think these girls are gonna eat, man. Uh, yeah. But listen, we're excited to have the KFL preseason start up here in literally beginning of March, springtime, pre-spawn. I think we're gonna get on them today, but uh, we'll see, man. You know, these fish are a little finicky sometimes, but it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, we'll, make, we'll, we'll force them to eat today. All right, hey, man. Don't forget, hashtag KFL, hashtag Norfolk Privateers, and hashtag uh, Watch the Warhawks, baby. Let's do it, man. Let's make it happen. We're here with the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Nathan Green, a hammer out of Virginia with the Norfolk Privateers. Nathan, how you doing, bud? Pretty good. Man, coming off a, uh, a tournament down at Lake Murray, you're talking about you had the winning bag in hand. Dude, you had some giants on, man. Just just got unbuttoned, but hey, another another tournament. Here we go. We're starting the KFL, man. What do you think about this, dude? Man, I'm looking forward to it, man. This lake's got some big giants in it, and it's the time they're going to start moving up, staging. I'm going to Hopefully find him. Listen, this guy, we have we have basically an MVP of every game. This guy is definitely the guy to look out for. Uh, look, we have 10 fish for the team, four guys. We have five guys. Uh, man, we have 14 inch minimum. What do you think, man? We're gonna get limits today? Yeah. Awesome, dude. Pre-spawn, pre talk about, man, Virginia's very underrated, right? Yeah, oh, incredibly underrated. Yeah, man, we, we get disrespected, don't we, here in Virginia? You know, everyone talks about Tennessee, Florida, South Carolina, and every lake here in Virginia, you can get double digit, I mean, not saying that uh, you're guaranteed, but there are big giants that roam here. Big largemouth, big smallmouth, big spots. You know, it's a good state to fish in. It's a great state to fish in. It's so diverse, man. You can throw just about any bait and catch them. But uh, what's your plan today, man? I mean, were you gonna just go out there, big big bait slinging or? Uh, probably, you know, same stuff that everybody else is gonna throw, probably. Um, throw a rig, chatterbait, spinnerbait, lipless, square bill. Um, see if I can find where they're staging. If I find a good school, I'll try to pick them apart with a jig. Absolutely, man. Well, good stuff. Well, good luck here, man. Stay safe out there, dude. Nathan Green, Norfolk Privateers, watch out for the guy. My man, fish with this guy for a couple of years. This is Mr. Dustin Arms from Tennessee, part of the Washington Warhawks, dude. Six hour trip come down here, fish this preseason game. Thank you, dude. Oh, you're welcome, man. Oh, I always come up here to fish. Yeah, man. All right, dude, dude I called you. I should be part of the KFL. What'd you think, man? I was grateful, you know what I mean? Just to be able to fish with you guys for another year. For yeah. Another new cause for the KFL. It's different, know? man. It's a it's team yeah. aspect, man. I mean, it's a different de deal here. Um, you know, it's it's unheard of I mean, in terms of being able to kind of put this together like this. No one's really ever done it in the kayak fishing world, really in the fishing world. But uh, it's going to be tri trial by fire, man. We're going to be rooting each other on. But, dude, pressure's on you, man. You're the hammer. You, you're <laughs> know, you're right? the hammer. I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey. All we gotta do is catch them, right? That's all we gotta do, man. What's your prediction today, dude? Ah, uh, it's gonna warm up probably around noon. They're gonna start biting. Yeah. I think there's gonna be some big ones caught today. 
I think final score, Washington Warhawks 160, Norfolk Privateers 148. I so, think they squeak by with a limit. I think so. Yeah, man. Let's do it. Yeah, Let's dude. go. Come on. All right, bud. <laughs> All right, we got Jordan Coffee from the Arkansas Hogs here. This guy's a nice one in the boat there, Greg. About uh, seven hours and 24 minutes to go early, early in the day. Nice uh, little catch there early in the day right there. Puts him on the board, 19 and a quarter to zero for the Arkansas Hogs. It's a good start. Mark Coates and Lone Star Bandits. See if you can get a little something on the board. There we go. There we go. First one. <laughs> Couldn't have called that one any better. Oh, shit. I don't There's think that's going to make it. Yeah. Minimum in KFL this year, guys, is uh, 14 Number inches. One, baby. Look like that one's going to cut it for them. KFL season and 13. Nope. Not big enough, but uh, we on the board. <laughs> All right, Jordan Coffee back at it again. A little spinner bait or spinning rod action. Todd, do you think that probably, probably a finesse technique, maybe a wacky rig Cinco? What do you think? Yeah, I think so. Looks like that's uh, what he's got going on there. Looks like uh, he's giving his uh, Arkansas hogs a good start to the morning here. Oh, man. Another nice looking fish. Definitely nice. Yeah, I mean, still early in the day, plenty of time left, and got two nice ones on the board for his team. Um, 39 and a quarter is uh, what the Lone Star Bandits got, and the Arkansas Hogs at 35 inches after that fish. Yeah, close close match right in the morning here. Good stuff. All right, we have Nathan Green. Boat up nice. I think might be a good one here, huh? Oh man, looks like it. Woo! Woo! <laughs> he's pumped up. Getting, looks getting like excited. a good one in the Let's net. see what he's got. Oh, oh my. Oh my gosh. <laughs> a 22 and a quarter Norfolk proof privateers take the lead early. Nathan Green. Good gracious. That is a beast. That'll get in somebody's heads. Hey, you see the smile on his face after that one, right? Looks like we oh, got yeah. Greg Nosar here. Got a little something on. Yeah. It feels real good. He likes it. Oh, gosh, yeah. It's it's good one. Yeah, that's what I was thinking I thought. Greg, uh, it just pulled hard. to not go for the net. He likes the lipids fish. Let's see if that hurts him at all this year. Oh, it's barely hooked. Come here. Nice little bass. Looks like it's going to be pretty daggone close. Barely to hooked. There. Yeah. 15, it's in the boat. Nice skinny long yes. fish. Man, these are these are pale, pale fish. They're just not. Uh, they're just coming in, and they're just reloading on this choke point. Yeah, Greg always goes to that technique of uh, making sure his board's wet. Um, you know, right. before he measures that fish, it calms that fish down. And, uh, so you're going to see uh, he, he, they're eating he some uses crawls. that technique a lot. And, uh, so a lot of they got to be 14 do. inches. Looks like after that fish right Good there, the Washington right. Warhawks have a 29 and three quarter, a 22 and a quarter lead. Here we go as another one. Got that Here's another one right here. Working for him. Nice one right here. A couple of nice fish on the board for Greg. Still early in the day. Five That's hours three, guys. Time. That's three. Washington Warhawks got a nice little lead. Pretty excited about 45 that. 45 inches to 22 and a quarter. After that fish. All right. So I think this might be the biggest one today. Yep. Rattle trap. Sweet. Nice job, Greg. Jesse Wade from Norfolk Privateers. Very tactical fisherman here. Knows how to get around the water. Looks like he's fishing a little secondary point here. Yeah, definitely. Jesse's one of those guys known to put a slab or two on the board. So this guy knows how to fish. Oh, 
Ooh, boat up there. Nice. Oh, nice looking fish. Got that ego networking for him. We see you, Jesse. Choked we see it. you. We saw Choked that one. It. Little choke job on the old rattle trap. Nice. Guys are getting down to about uh, halfway through the day here. Um, nice fish there for the privateers. Can you tell he wanted brings it? them within five and a half inches of the Washington Warhawks. Bam, baby! Bobby Bourne. <laughs> Stand up and show that Where's one on Bobby. That's a oh, tank. Oh, that's Answers old, back with a Virginia 20 and a half there yeah, for the baby. Warhawks. Extends the lead. We got Joel Spear here from Arkansas. Beautiful kayak he's got there, man. Old Town. Yeah, there's an Old Town colors, and the boats are very, very nice. For sure. The big redded beard one knows how to get around the water. Showing off a dink, even though I'm not sure if that one scored or not. I don't, it's probably a little too small. Eh, it might be a little too small. I think the old beard oh, clashes with the uh, the old kayak, but looks like he's bank beaten. <laughs> Finesse technique. Beating the bank, picking off them little guys. Uh, sorting through the little ones, like Mar Marty Hughes says. You know, sort through the little ones to find the big ones, and that's what Joel's out here doing, trying to get his team a quick little limit. Yeah, Arkansas and Lone Star Bandit's in a tight one here. Oh, that's another one. That's three in a row. Look how clear that water is. Wow. Oh, yeah, you can see the reeds pretty well. A little hydrilla lake. Oh my God! Oh, Greg no oh my you got God. something here. good on here. Oh my God! He's pulling them backwards. Oh my God, dude! Uh -oh. Holy moly! This could be a game changer. This, this could be nice. my PB, dude. Man, it's dangerous to lift this fish. Oh, so please don't do that! Oh my God, Did please! You get it? Oh my God! Boat, oh my Ugh. God, dude! Nice Holy fish. moly! Oh my god! Look at the size of this thing! Holy moly! That'll Look do at the some size damage of this the freaking board. thing! Holy <laughs> Absolute moly! Absolute tank that gold oh my god. rattle trap is working. I'm Look sure he's letting his teammates thing. know, hey guys, gold <laughs> rattle trap's the ticket today. Dude, look at the size of this thing! <laughs> With two oh hours god. to go, that is a key fish. Oh my god! Dude! Wow. That gives them a substantial lead. Oh, Washington fish. Warhawks 105 and three quarters oh, to the Norfolk oh, Privateers 53 and a half. Privateers got a lot of catching up to do, Greg. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Oh my gosh. Nine pounds? No, seven pounds. Uh, seven pounds, two ounces. Seven pounds, two ounce bass for Greg. No, sir. I don't know what fish is going to beat that. Seven today. pounds, two ounces. Nathan Green guys. had a nice one too, though. Monster. Woo! Let's let her go. It's always good to see him swim off. Old Jim Levere from the Lone Star Bandits. Great fisherman out of Texas. Uh oh. Ooh. <laughs> Soft hook there, man. Great technique the, there. Looks at the, the camera, way. makes sure it's all good. Make sure he's looking pretty. The way he leans into those hook sets. Is, uh, it's oh great. my gosh. Fishing off a of blue sky. We call that the floating bar. <laughs> yeah, blue sky. Keeping that rod angry. down there, Todd. That's a textbook, man. Yeah, you want to keep those fish from jumping. You want to keep them down in the water, and um, you know it's it's, it's good. Good way to make sure you land your fish. It's going to be a good one for the bandits. They were in a tight matchup with the hogs. Got some lettuce with them. Nice, healthy Texas bass right there. Oh man, that's a nice one. That's going to hurt. That's going to definitely help them. That thing flopping. 
extend their lead a little bit. Yep. 27 and a half inch lead there. See how he's feeling the line there. He's looking for any little any little tick of the bait. And when he feels that, he's setting the hook if he feels any resistance. Mm. I love that side hook, man. I, I just love that. People who hook up have tech and typically have less hookup ratios, but that side hook is dangerous. Put Good right fish. In mouth right there. Boy, that's gonna definitely extend the lead there for him. The bandits! A team to mess with, Jim Levere, MVP candidate for the KFL this year, I believe. Yeah, I mean, definitely a leader of his team. Let's just put a bunch on the board here. 30 inch lead there. 30 inch lead three there. Quarters, mm -hmm. 67 and three quarters. See how that figure just touches that line as he reels in? Bait cast is pretty rare, but that's how you do it. Old technique. Sounds like he's got some wind going there. Spot lock's happening. Nice hook up. Mm. He is on him. Jim is he likes, late. Yeah, he likes to go lighter line, Greg. I mean, we've talked to him before. He likes to go light line, and he likes to let the fish wear themselves out. Uh, he thinks that helps him get these fish in the boat, too. So. That's another healthy like fish. Another guy who does not use a net. <laughs> yeah, you won't see many blue sky guys using a net. They like to fish. Coming down to 90 minutes left in the match. Time is ticking down. And the Lone Star Bandit's just pulling away. Jim just keeps on putting them in the boat. That one probably very well could have been a nail in the coffin. Swinging a miss. Bait. Took his bait and everything. You won't see that much from Jim. Rig up another worm and check it right back out there. Both these matches were early morning matchups starting at 6 a.m. Uh, it's always good to see these uh, teams get together in a preseason match and getting ready and um, sharpening their skills for the for the big KFL season coming. Mm. Man, nice green fish. Beautiful. The last the hour match fish is never a bad just thing. Continues to pour it on here. Yeah. Wow. Extending the lead even further. I don't think you're going to win too many matches without getting to about 150 inches this year. So Well, we have a final here. Lone Star Bandits, 179 and a quarter. Arkansas Hogs, 117 and a quarter. 121 for the Warhawks and 53 and a half for the Norfolk Privateers. Boys, got the W. Got the W. Got, got the W, man. Listen, um, thank you guys for coming. Uh, glad that we're part. you guys are part of the team. Yeah. I mean, today was, a, today was a grind. Absolute grind, man. It's oh, definitely yeah. a grinder. Yeah, I mean, we had a strategy going in, you know. Um, this was our big bait guy. He was throwing monster freaking bait. We're going after big girls all day. Oh, yeah. You know, and, uh, you know, it, it, honest to God, you know, we found out real early that, I mean, it was just a quarter ounce, you know, golden rattle trap that was the key today. Yeah. You know, they just weren't biting the big baits, were they? Oh, no, they didn't want any of it. I mean, 
you caught that seven pounder in the back and I had thrown the rat in the exact same spot. It's like, come on, and I'm cranking down two, three feet, it's like, wow. Yeah. You know, sometimes they just want what they want. Yeah. They won't deviate from it, so. <laughs> I mean, Michael Michael didn't catch anything today, but dude. I caught uh, one. Uh, well, I caught a little guy. Oh, well, a little guy. Nothing yeah. to count it. No, but, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can't count it as a lost total. <laughs> no, it's not a completely lost. But, but the, the, the key of that is, it's, it's like, so what he blanked. But he, again, he was fishing a different pattern. And you don't you don't know when that pattern is going to take off. Yeah, oh, right? for sure. Right? Yeah. And so, you know, it's like we had, we, there's no sense of having three or four guys throw the same freaking pattern, no. you know? That's um, why you're a team. That's right, exactly. And Break down a body of water a different way. That's right. More fish. Yeah, and especially once you find, I mean, you found the pattern pretty early. I mean, yeah. So Bobby started throwing it, and then, you know, everybody else starts to, starts to get in on it, so. Right. Well, I tell you, man, the, the match was freaking close. We were one fish ahead, like kind of around, I don't know, basically noon. Mm -hmm. And then Dustin catches a 16, yeah. pushes up two. They catch another fish. And then, you know, uh, Travis catches a fish. And now they're only down one. And I'm like, oh man, you know, I'm like, it was, we had nerve wracking. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I mean, we were just grinding, grinding, grinding. Finally, I got another one. And then Bobby catches a big one. Big one. And then that kind of took the pressure off a little bit, but still, you know, you it can happen like that. Just like oh, that. Yeah. You know? But uh, guys, what do you think about the format, man? I love it. Yeah, it's awesome. I think love it's great. It. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. It's it's different. I mean, it's, it, like I fished a little bit different than I would if I was fishing in an individual tournament. Yeah, yeah. And you have a little bit different mindset, but I mean, I I, I think it kind of took the pressure off too, man. It was kind of like- Yeah, because like, it's, you know, just like Mike, me, kind of had a bad day. You and Bobby kind of just picked it up for us. Yeah, you know? yeah, it was. You, you get to fish more freely, I think. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah you're I mean? not. You know, it's like I gotta catch as many fish as I can real quick, and then start moving into trying to upgrade. Right. I mean, you you can just you know go about your day as you do. Right. Yeah. 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 I, mean, I mean, you're not scrambling all over your tackle box trying yeah. to figure something out because you know that you know you always get your teammates to kind of rely on. But guys, we got the big W. Yep. And I'm excited. As I said, it's preseason. But I think we got made a little statement, got a little in their heads a little bit. It's all right. It's <laughs> all right. It's all right. <laughs> but it's all good, man. Yeah. So don't sleep on us. Yeah, that's right. Warhawks, <laughs> baby. Warhawks. Yeah. Got the big right. dub. So, all right, guys. All right, Mr. Brown. Well, it's probably the worst day of fishing I've ever experienced, actually. Dude, I'm actually I was surprised, man. I mean, when Nate put that big fish on the board early for you guys mm -hmm. i was scared <laughs> i was scared and then i saw you take off to where he was or you know i thought that's where you were going i'm like oh my god yeah man i couldn't put it together i couldn't figure it out i didn't even get a bite today wow yeah man i did i did it all wow rip lipless out of grass jackhammer spinnerbait jig texas rig worm i did a lot yeah man all right who's the player of the game well, I think that's pretty easy to say. It's probably going to be the Nathan Green. <laughs> yeah. I agree. I agree. He called. I mean, he called his shot, man. He did. Five, what? Five minutes in. He yeah. Up to <laughs> he did. He did. I was like, okay, Nate's on him. He's going to carry us to the promise. No land. doubt. No doubt. And then this guy Greg Nosar came along. It was a good day. Smacking him. It was a good day. Actually, you know what? It was a tough day, man. You know, I found it in pre in pre uh, in pre practice or whatever. You know, pre fishing, and this spot just kept on reloading, man. It was, you know, and it, dude, it was only one bait that caught him. Really? It was a gold quarter ounce rattle trap, and they wouldn't bite anything else. Do I threw a gold rattle trap as well? It wasn't a quarter ounce. So I think it was a half ounce. Yeah, I mean, it had to have been like a smaller profile, yeah. and I threw everything. I threw the kitchen sink at him, and. Everything else just, you know, just didn't work. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's fishing. Um, I, I, it was nice to see the temps warm up, the water temps. I saw, uh, I think the highest I saw was like 52, 53. Yeah. This place is probably like two weeks away from being pr pretty darn good. Yeah. So what are you guys going to do as a team? Are you going to kind of get regroup and kind of talk about what you guys did and what oh, you yeah. learned? We're going to take this as a learning experience. We're going to figure out uh, how we could have uh, strategized better, yeah. communicated better, and figured out what you're doing, what I'm doing, where you're doing it at. Yeah. And, you know, that way we could tackle different portions of the lake and break it down as a team. Yeah. I, th I think that's what we did real well is we communicated thoroughly and then we all kind of got on the same page and you know found out that one bait that worked and you know we kind of spread out and you know 
guys didn't really kill them, but it, it was enough to put us over the top. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. you know, but again, look, it's preseason. Um, you know, it doesn't count, right? No, it's, it's where you get the tune-ups done. You get everything yeah. uh, tuned and lined and ready to go, revved up. That's right. We that's just got dynos. That's all it was right there. Well, I mean, you know, look, thanks. This is a great, great area, man. San, Sandy River Reservoir is a great fishery. There's tanks here. I mean, we caught three over twenty today, dude. Three. Three. Bobby caught a, a twenty and a half. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got the uh, what was it, twenty one? Twenty one and a quarter, nice. and then freaking Nate gets a twenty two. So yeah, yeah it was good. Great fishery, man. Dude, I, I, I was talking um, through the video um, as I was fishing. Dude, last night was so much fun, man. It was. Dude, it was <laughs> a lot of Chicken fun. Tender. It, uh, <laughs> it was a lot of fun, and uh, you know, it was. It's just more than fishing. Too. You know, today kind of sucked about fishing, but it was more than that, man. I tell you what. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, I mean, I mean, I said it for, since I got with KBBT and the KFF, KFL is just building on it, man. It's, it's, this feels like a family, man. We we get together, we laugh, we joke, we clown on each other, we eat food, we have a couple beers, smoke cigars, and. You know, when we get yeah. out here on the water, yeah, I'm trying to take your head off, but yeah. after we get back to the rip, jokes are going to be said, we're going to laugh, we're going to drink, and we're going to eat food again. All right, man, so this is our first kind of, you know, trial run with KFL. What do you think so far, bud? I think it's awesome. I think I didn't like the results, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I, I would love to not get skunked, Yeah. you know, but uh, no, it was, it was awesome, man, and uh, I think it's just going to get better. Yeah. It's just going to get better, especially, uh, you know, when the actual season kicks off, you know, Yeah. and uh, we get we have those warm water temps. It may be summertime, but I know how to catch them in the summer, and a lot, all these hammers and all these teams know how to catch them in the summer, so let's get it man it's, yeah. it's just gonna get better so tune in and you know rock with us guys watch this guy in tournaments and watch his team man it's gonna be a lot of fun robert brown's making some noise uh, do not be surprised if this guy i'm not gonna put pressure on him but do not be, be surprised if you see this guy in the 10 uh next year man that's, that's the gonna, goal yeah, yeah. Um, this guy is focused getting in like that man and he had a great tournament at murray but uh great game man it had a lot of fun um you know I might have to rub it in a little bit with you, but it's all good, man. I'm expecting it. I'm expecting it. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll, we'll, we'll talk to you soon. All right. Later, fellas and ladies.